well as the folk of Arikiri have um, throughout New Zealand. I don't know whether we've said it in terms of the uh, of the uh, of Kaupo, but if they don't have a look, they do not The cost is one metric, but value is another one. Can you tell us how we rank on value? There's, there's no such thing as proof. Well, there should be, shouldn't there? Because that's the bottom line. People want value for their rates. They don't, it's no good having low rates if you're not getting the results you want from those rates, is it? Well, again, value is just a satisfaction score. That's the only way to measure in this stage. And, and generally, our, our satisfaction levels are pretty low. When was the satisfaction survey taken? At the August of last year. So it's coming up for a year ago. Yep. Do you think it might have changed since then? Tell me, I don't believe so. Well, based on what I've spoken to people I've spoken to, I think it might have, actually. I think it might have seen some changes. So, yeah, something to consider. Right, how does that satisfaction survey compare with the previous one? Uh, it was up. So, I don't know, probably mid, slightly. And again, different areas went up and some went down. Can, can I raise a point about the smog that's in our air? We're one of 23 um, towns in New Zealand that has an inversion layer, so all of that smoke that sits there. There's a, an expedient way to fix it. We have Mighty River Power, which is nine dams on the river. We have a big cogen plant out at the mill, and lots of wood that can be chipped. Well, well, at the risk of closing it down, you know, we, we're here talking about representation review, but we're not here talking about the long-term plan. I mean, what you're talking about now are long-term plan issues, and I'm not sure we're going to get a lot of value out of that. We'll close that. Patricia. Um, I just want to know, what, what sparked the decision to close jump in here and, and please do so, but when you have 11 members sitting around the table, you're obviously going to have a diverse range of opinions, and there were a number of people that were, were keen on, on eight councillors. That didn't go through at the end of the day, the, uh, the democracy ruled on, uh, on 10, the remaining 10. Um, but, you know, when, when the discussion was being held around, around the wards and the ability to, uh, to get better representation, it was determined that there would be a better, well, A, if there was eight councillors that ended up that way, two walked off the roof. But the other issue is, uh, the point four is that if you have a situation where a Tira councillor can't make um, council, and you know, Councillor McGill's had a hip operation recently, and you know, that's one of those unfortunate mm -hmm. scenarios, hasn't been able to make a number of, uh, of meetings, Tira has no voice at the, uh, at the table. Because with two wards, you have four councillors representing that, uh, that entire ward, therefore there's a, 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 greater, a greater voice. So, that if you only have one councillor for Te Rau and he's not available, then the people are unrepresented? Uh, 